What's good, everybody? Hope you have a great morning, day, or evening, depending on the day or time you're watching this video. It's your boy Playmaker Wave with the playbook, and y'all read the title, man. Easiest way to identify reversals. Never be confused on the charts again. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I appreciate you giving this video a chance. Make sure to hit that bell and sub button because we don't just post weekly content like this, but we also live stream and live trade every day. London session 3 m EST on this very same channel. We also have a free signal free telegram. There's the first link in the description. This is how we did last month, October. We caught a total of 157,608 pips, 125,674 strictly with the members in the advanced place signal room. Ended the month 32.5, giving us an 86% win rate. Now this is how we did last quarter. July, we went 34 wins, three losses. August, we took 45 wins, seven losses. And in September, we took 27 wins, four losses. Catching 105,389 pips July, 219,708 pips in August, and 16,634 pips in September. Giving us a total of 341,731 pips caught. 323,385 strictly with the members in the advanced place signal room. In the quarter, 106 wins, 14 losses, giving us an 88% win rate. Every trade posted has the date, the time the trade was posted, my personal entry, SL, TPs, how many people viewed or entered the trade, reactions, and of course those TPs getting hit. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. Now let's get straight into this video. Now this trade right here, I have a trade breakdown for this. You just go to my channel. You'll see it's one of my most recent videos from this one. Now this was a huge, beautiful, beautiful trade. This was a nice one to 10 risk reward ratio. So that means whatever we risk, we made 10 times that amount. So we risked a hundred bucks, we made a thousand dollars. If we risked a thousand bucks, we made $10,000 of this one trade alone. And so we're gonna break down how we use the strategy to identify reversals to catch these two huge moves like this and how we use the same strategy to catch this huge move like this. And that's our entire lower low. And we're going to a smaller time frame. We can see that again, we caught these drops. So we're about to break down how we caught this, why we knew the, the trend was about to reverse and the same signs you need to look out for so you can avoid a fake out as well as catch a similar move like these. So the first thing you need to do is identify the trend. I always recommend doing it on the daily time frame. You need to identify the trend in order to figure out what direction price is heading. Then once you identify the trend, you need to know the rules of the trend. I go over this in the course in the one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do have a few videos going over how to identify the trend. So make sure to watch that video as well. This video, we're not gonna really go over the how to do that. So make sure to watch that video. Now, we can see here that it was clearly in the uptrend. How do we know that? Because we see clear higher highs getting formed and no lower lows. But what we also can notice and see here is that price was struggling to make a new higher high. It was struggling to break this level here. But that's what caused the rejection down, right? But then after the rejection down, price rallied back up and then broke this level. So for the uptrend to continue, it would have needed to have held this level as a support. And as we can see here, it failed to do so. It started treating it in fact as the opposite, resistance. So this was the first sign that we saw some exhaustion to the upside and then we can see a possible reversal come into play. So as we zoom in here, we see this next pivot point, these next two consecutive candlesticks are showing that price might try to treat this support level as a resistance. So now that we understand that we're in an uptrend, but we're seeing the signs of an uptrend failing and we see a possible reversal come into play, that's when we'd mark up our levels and zones and wait to see if price will treat the support level as a resistance. Boom. So we see price respected that as support. Boom. And the same support level, what do we see here? Being treated as a resistance. You see that? So since we see price doing this, our next, so the thing about trading is instead of trying to beat price to the chase, what you want to do is anticipate what price is going to most likely do next. So price, luckily for us, can only do one of two things, either go up or go down. So it's our job to determine and figure out and decide whether, which one of those two things price is going to do. Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? So again, this is the this showing bearish momentum. When we see way more red count six than green, but we also see what? Lower lows coming into play. If you haven't liked this video yet and subscribed, make sure to do that because I'm really about to put you on game. So really pay attention. Grab your notebooks, your crayons, your your, your mechanical pencils, whatever y'all use. Y'all's typewriters, get that stuff ready because y'all going to want to take notes. So now we see price broke this level and made a lower low. 
So now a price can continue to hold this level as resistance or break the next support level below us, we are now officially in the downtrend because we no longer see higher highs getting made. We now see what? Lower high into lower low, lower high into lower low, aka lower lows. If you see lower lows, that means sell. If you see higher highs, that means buys. That's something I tell my members and students all the time. If everything's showing us buys, only go for buys. If everything's showing us sells, only go for sells. So as we can see here, price continue to do what? Make a new lower low as well as break the support levels to the left, which is why we went for these cells right here. You see these dates, the 18th and the 19th. We go to GPUSD, we see here on the 18th and the 19th, as well as the week beforehand, we was going for cells. And again, if you watch my Sunday chart analysis that I drop every Sunday at the beginning of the week in a free telegram, I said exactly that as well, that we were looking for sales in GU. In fact, I took it a step further and said exact price points to look for entries and exits at. So now let's go into the second example, which is going to be NASDAQ 100. We're going to break down how we was able to catch these two cells and determine sells over buys. Because again, if we look at NASDAQ 100 prior to this, all this year, price was shooting to the upside. And as you can see, we was catching all these buys as well, just like we was catching all these sells. And we're on the daily time frame. So that means the strategy we use, we're not just catching the five minute truck candlestick. We're not catching 15 minute candlestick. We're catching multiple candlesticks. And we're catching the entire move of the day. That's how powerful the strategy is. So this NAS one was pretty simple as well. Again, you want to identify the trend. We can see that we was clearly bullish, clear uptrend. How do we know we're in an uptrend? Because we see clear higher highs getting made, right? We see clear higher highs getting made. But just like GU, what do we see ourselves um, uh, dealing with? Consolidation and price struggling to break this resistance level. Look how many times price struggled to break this level. So again, Price in order to go down needs to break support levels, treat it as resistance. Price in order to go up needs to break resistance levels and treat them as support. So as we see right here, we was in a little box. So again, right now we're waiting for price to either break above this level, treat it as support. But in this case, as we can see, we see price broke below this level. So this is where we'd wait to see if it's going to hold this level as a resistance or not right and as we can see here when we look a little closer and go into a smaller time frame we can see price broke below this level nice uh engulfing candlestick clear volume and look we see price treating this level as resistance so now let's get rid of this arrow and let's hit the play button and see what price does boom it's that simple y'all and then we go to my actual nas chart that's exactly what you see here. Price struggled to break this resistance level and we caught that sell to the downside. So it's literally that simple, y'all. Again, go with what price is most likely going to do. Do not rush. Wait for those confirmations. Price is always going to show you what it's trying to do. The issue I used to have and a lot of y'all are having is y'all just trying to rush. Y'all in a rush into that buy or sell. Don't be in a rush. Slow it down and your win rate will increase drastically. I'm speaking from experience. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below any questions, comments, concerns you may have. Make sure to hit that first link in the description to join the free signal room free telegram. If you're interested in learning how to identify these levels, my signal room services, or my mentorship programs, hit those links in the description. But before I make a decision, let me tell you a little bit about those details. Advanced Place Signal Room, we trade Tokyo session exclusively with the members. We trade London session and then New York. Just like the Sunday chart analysis I drop in the free signal room, I drop one every day during New York session called the New York Price Watch List. This is where I go over the trades we took during Tokyo session, London session, and possible sales going into New York. I don't just say we're looking for buys or looking for sales. I explain why we're looking for buys, why we're looking for sales. And then I take it a step further and go over key price points to look for entries and exits on. As you can see here, I call this signal. You see, I'm walking y'all through what's going on with the trades we're in. I'm giving y'all updates to what I talked about in the New York price watch list. And then of course you see me showing y'all screenshots to visually show y'all what's going on behind the scenes or what I see on my end behind the scenes. All right, we also have exclusive live streams that we go live during New York news events at least twice a week. And just like the London session lives, if you missed the live, they're recorded and posted in here so you can watch them when you get a chance. You have access to over 500 videos of daily chart analysis and weekly live streams. And in fact, you have access to even the ones last year in 2022. Then there's also the pinned messages like the account size key, the student and member group chat, and much more. 
Now, I also have the course, of course. The course doesn't just teach you my trading strategy. It also teaches you how to read the charts because that's what I teach y'all. You saw I had no indicators, no trend lines. It's simply just market flow and trading and entering and exiting off key price levels. Now, all the stuff that I just went over, you get access to all that stuff in the course channel. So that way, you not only do you have the step-by-step -step playbook of how to look and read any chart at all times, but you have ongoing chart analysis, ongoing education for life. Now, I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions. One-on-one -on -one sessions also comes with access to the advanced play signal room and the student member group chat. That way you can earn while you learn, but then you also get two sessions a week that are recorded an hour long, but you also get two sessions a week that are recorded in an hour long and they're sent to you the same day. Those are yours to keep for life. So if you're interested in that, hit those links in the description. If y'all want to contact me directly, y'all can DM me on Instagram at playmaker underscore way. Also make sure to follow me on there and TikTok underscore playmaker way underscore. I post daily on both pages. And I'll see y'all next time I'm live or next time I post a video. Peace. We out.